fleeing from the Borg tyranny, the last Federation battle star, Excelsior, leads a ragtag fugitive fleet on a lonely quest to seek out other survivors of the Borg Holocaust and find a place of refuge from our nemesis. She was okay with that? She thinks it's a great idea. She can't wait to meet you. Admiral Nochayev. Yeah. Admiral Nochayev thinks making me ambassador to the Sona is a good idea. Admiral Nechayev is in command of this fleet. She's a brilliant and fair-minded diplomat, and she will accept you on her step because she is, well, fair-minded and... Uh, you haven't told her yet. I have, in fact, not told her yet. Rich to Captain. Admiral Nechayev is here to see you, sir. Send her in. Oh, God, just shoot me now. Don't worry, you'll get used to that feeling around here. Come in. I will kill people today, Captain. I will kill people with this ridiculous vial which was given to me personally by Zenkat, the Ambassador. And then, I will kill them with my own hands. Nice to see you again, Admiral. Which is nothing compared to what I will do if this keeps happening. What did we do? The Zenkati are prepared to make pre-fight accusations that we have been hiding food rations on the medical pre-pad. If we cannot provide proof where the rations went. Do we have the memo? In my hand, Captain. Well, I'm sure we can just send it on over to the... When your people get a request for this kind of information, it should be sent before I even know it needs to be. I'll try and find out what happened. I was ready to take a vacation. I was ready to use the hollow ship to go someplace warm, to the beach. Somebody bringing me drinks with little umbrellas in them. I had this thing closed, but now I have to go back over there, hat in hand, because the circus is in town. Who's that? Oh, Ensign Jenna McFarland. She's a little bit scared of you, so, so be nice. Huh. Nice to meet you. She's working for you. Excuse me? She'll be your new ambassador to the Sona. She's an expert on their culture. <laughs> I thought that went pretty well. <laughs> Bridge the captain. You better come out here, sir. On my way. What have you got? Reading a massive tachyon surge, sir. It could be a temporal anomaly. Or an advanced board transport conduit. Recommend we open fire, sir. Red alert. All ships battle stations. Prepare to fire on my command. Something's coming through. Lock weapons on target. Target approaching at attack speed. Hold fire, goddammit. Their systems are offline, sir. Looks like they've had a rough ride. Open a channel. I've been trying, sir, but nothing seems to be working over there. Stand down to yellow alert. Mr. Darwin, take a boarding party. Aye, Captain. Chief, it's a temporal anomaly. No doubt about it. Subspace distortion is off the scale. Do you think that's something? Look at this. The ship that came through is the USS Excelsior. What do you mean? NCC-2000, the original. The one that disappeared at Kittimer? The one and only. We better tell the captain. <laughs> Something to tell me he's about to find out for himself. Captain, may I introduce Captain Hikaru Sulu? This is our commander, Captain John Edward Knapp. Welcome aboard the Excelsior, Captain. I trust you've met my first officer, 
Captain Darwin. Pardon me, Captain. Did you say the Excelsior? Indeed I did, sir. Apparently that portal you just came through was a time rift. We barely survived. My ship is in shambles. That rift nearly tore us to pieces. I'll have my engineering teams inspect your ship. But if we can't get her up to speed, we may have to scuttle her. Captain, I was on a very important mission to aid Captain James Kirk at Kittimer. There was a lot at stake. I'm sorry, Captain. They didn't make it. War broke out. It was a sad time for the Federation. We committed mass genocide against the Klingons. But we got our due. The Federation fell to a race called the Borg several years ago. We're all that's left. The Borg. A race of cybernetic beings that assimilate humanoids until their collective hive. You can't be serious. How long have we been gone? Nearly 75 years. Oh, God. I'm sorry, this is uh, difficult to comprehend. It's the truth. And Earth. Billions and billions of Borg drones. They've assimilated most of the Alpha and Beta Quadrants. We're still looking for survivors, but finding fewer and fewer. And the Borg are getting closer and closer. They nearly cornered us last month, but we were able to use one of their own transwarp conduits to escape. Transwarp? Is this some kind of nightmare? We wish it was. Captain, we have to go back. We don't belong here. I don't think that's possible, Captain. Your ship is in shambles. We could try to modify the shields on your ship to protect you from the temporal anomaly, but that would take time. If we stay here any longer, we risk detection by the board. It's much too dangerous. With all due respect, sir, Admiral Necheyev is in control of the fleet. She's the highest ranking Starfleet officer we've got. I'll see what she says, but I can assure you she has plans to get underway as soon as possible. Captain. With your permission, I'd like to return to my ship, check on my crew, gather a few things. Very well. Please escort our guest, Mr. Darwin. What an impressive ship you've got here. She's been good to us. God knows she's been through hell and back. Would you like a brief tour? Well, who am I to turn down an offer like that? Right this way, sir. She was the last dreadnought to be launched from the Rigel Yard before the Borg attacked that system. With help from the Romulans, we upgraded her to Battlestar three years ago. If you treat a ship well, she'll always return the favor. It'd be a little easier if we had a star base to pull into to give her the maintenance she needs. We haven't been in dock in five years. And finding the lithium's getting harder, too. How did this happen? A race known as the Q decided it was a fitting punishment for our genocide of the Klingons, so they introduced us to the Borg. And I tend to agree with them. Don't forget, Chief, the Klingons kamikaze our planet. We responded the only way we could. Sir, I've been going through some sensor information. It looks like the overdrive of the Excelsior's warp engines may have caused a temporal anomaly. We could easily modify our shields with new ones that would protect you from the worst of the anomaly this time. They're pretty badly damaged. It'd take quite a bit of new gear to get her operational again. Chief, can you repair my ship just back to the level of technology that we're used to? Yes, with the exception of shields, of course. That would take a lot of precious replicator energy. Well, not if you use the hollow ship. You weren't planning on using all of your hollow ship time, were you? It sounds like you're talking about sending the Excelsior back to the Rift. The captain's already nixed that. Well, sorry, Captain. I, I didn't realize that uh, that wasn't an option. On the contrary, Chief. I'm planning on trying it with or without the captain's permission. Insurrection? <laughs> no, Ensign. But I have a hunch that if Captain Sulu can prevent the Kittimer disaster, 
a lot of our problems might magically disappear. If we can survive the trip back. Leave that to me. I'll have your ship ready for you, Captain. Adapt to Darwin. Report to my ready room. Aye, sir. I've ordered many men on assignment, Admiral. I've sent them to Lapalus, Wolf 359, Setlick 3. Captain, I... Don't interrupt me, lady. I think alerting the fleet to staggeringly dangerous vulnerabilities in our state of readiness is an act of conscience. And I would too. Except, and I said this with all the respect... Oh, shove your respect. I don't want it. I think your motives are personal. I'd like to discuss that. Sure, and how about we discuss your plan to take this fleet into the heart of Borg territory to secure dilithium? Is that personal? I'm your commanding officer, and I'm not going to listen to your insubordination any longer. Look around you, Admiral. The Federation, Starfleet, that's all gone now. We're it. There's no one else out here, except the goddamn Borg. So if you think I'm going to sit here and take your crap, you are sadly mistaken. Go ahead and make your deals with a sonar or whoever you damn well please. But don't look to me with a Borg attack. Get the hell off my ship. You will pay for your words, Captain. What was that all about? Captain, make preparations to get underway. What about the other Excelsior, sir? Beam everyone off. We need to get going immediately. I'm taking command of the fleet. I can't do that, sir. And just why the hell not? We have to send the other Excelsior back. It could correct the timeline and end the Borg War before it ever started. No, Captain. I won't risk this fleet. And I certainly won't give Necheyev time to rally her allies. We're taking this fleet away from here now. Is power all that matters to you now? Power over a few feeble starships? We're low on the lithium. Our people are starving on rations. At the rate we're going, we'll be bored by this time next week. Don't you realize that we're finished unless we do something? I don't have time for this. Well, you better make the time. One ship, 75 years ago, could have prevented all of this. We have an opportunity that will never come again and I'll relieve you of duty if I have to. That's to security. Get in here. Is there a problem, sir? Escort Mr. Darwin to the brig. He's to be confined there indefinitely. What the hell are you waiting for? Lieutenant, perhaps you should confine the captain to his quarters for a while. Aye, right, Captain. Sir, please come with me. I'm sorry, sir. He's dead. It's okay, Lieutenant. Are we on schedule, sir? We sure are. Contact Admiral Lecheyev. Tell her I have a proposition for her. We've detected a Borg transport conduit two light years away. No doubt, they're headed this way. Can we have the Excelsior ready by then? Yes, we're almost ready now. As soon as we get back, we'll proceed directly to Kittermer and attempt to secure the conference. What about damaging the timeline? I trust my crew, Admiral. We understand the consequences of our actions. These events will remain a secret. Very well, then. Bridge to the captain. We've detected three Borg ships on an intercept course. ETA, 12 minutes. Acknowledged. We're on our way. Let's do this. If we are the Borg, we will add to a biological and technological distinctiveness to our own. Resistance is futile. Away team, what's your status? Almost done. I have sent the rest of the team ahead. I need to finish installing these latent commands that will remove our modifications from their system after they cross back to their own time. You have two minutes. Darwin out. Keith. I've been meaning to ask you something. Do you know what happens to my daughter, Imora? I'm sorry, sir, I can't say. I understand, Chief. Thank you for everything.
Ships moving to attack position. Shall we deploy destroyers to protect the colony ships? Negative, Lieutenant. We'll need all of our firepower against the Borg. They'll be easy targets for the Borg, sir. Then let's make sure that ship makes it into the rift so the sacrifice has meaning. Yes, sir. Captain, five Cardassian ships just jumped to warp. Looks like they're running, sir. Cowards. Looks like it paid off, though. One of the Borg ships is breaking formation and pursuing the Cardassians. Helm, keep us close to the Excelsior. We need to protect her until she enters the rift. Here they come. Chief, get back over here. Almost done, sir. We have to raise our shields. You'll be stuck there. <laughs> We've got the Admiral's ship. They're assimilating it. All ships provide cover. Return fire! We're ready over here. Best possible speed into the rift. We'll lower shields to beam you out. Stand by. You better not. Now the board will make quick use of that opportunity. We're not risking the timeline any further. Stand by for beam out. Hi, sir. We've lost 12 more ships, and I'm detecting four more Borg vessels heading this way. How long until the Excelsior enters the rift? Three minutes. Lower shields beam the chief out of there. I can't get a lock. Get those shields up! Damage report. Shields holding. The other Excelsior's lost shields. Stay on course for the rift. Looks like I'll be joining you. We're losing power! Intruder alert. Here's to another successful peace accord. Another Ferreno Cafe. And I thought you were going to try and take all the credit. I still might. Where do you get your Romulan ale? From a dealer my brother used to use. You know, he swore by the stuff. Your brother? He died during the Dominion War. He did love his ale. Oh, I'm sorry. How is Commander Shelby working out? Have you noticed that I'm one of the few people around here whose nose hasn't been out of shape over Shelby? You? I'm serious. I'm going to tell you something, Admiral. I don't think it's that she's a bureaucrat from command. I think it's that she's a bureaucratic woman and she's good looking. I think it's sexist in a bad way, and I'm coming down on her side. Good for you. Want some help? No, not really. By the way, as I recall, you moved up the ranks pretty quickly, Captain. Don't be too hard on Shelby. <laughs> <laughs>